here's the Magic the Gathering news for this week. And it's only Tuesday, but we've got a lot already, so let's go. In a surprise to no one, the Monty Python themed secret lair sold out in a matter of hours. Quite a few people were disappointed by this, especially people who couldn't be online when it went on sale, and people who got in the queue, but it sold out. Like, um, whoever this is. Uh, people speculate that scalpers were the main issue, but it was obviously popular, and FOMO was a huge driving force on this one. Now, Wizard still claims that a limited supply like this is better than their previous print-to-order model, and I'm sure this makes more money for them. Their argument is that this gets the cards to the buyers faster, but I'm pretty sure the Magic population at large would really prefer they go back to their old model where, you know, people actually had a chance to buy their product. Would you pay $500 to be on a Magic the Gathering podcast? I mean, this isn't a rhetorical question, because James Shu from the Humans of Magic podcast recently sent out an email to some MTG folks saying that they could be on his show as a sponsored episode for $500. Now, first off, I don't think there's any MTG content anywhere that you should pay $500 to be on. Uh, paying for exposure is a classic trap for small content creators, and you should never, ever, ever, ever do this. No. Uh, as for James, I mean, he can choose to try and monetize his content however he wants, uh, even though this one seems pretty bad. This takes the podcast from being sort of an interview journalism kind of thing to just a straight up infomercial. And uh, honestly, who wants to listen to a podcast where someone just had to pay their way on? Uh, I mean, this is a big yikes. But in good magic news, I'll be at Gen Con on Saturday. So come get a picture or video with me if you'd like. Just find me. See you there.